Hey guys, Buildzoid here, and today I'm going to be complaining about RAM manufacturers and their, well, specifications. Um, mainly Patriot and Corsair. So Patriot's actually worse in this case, um, due to what they're doing. Um, but yeah, Corsair, Corsair has recently changed how their website works to make it, well, significantly more useless. Um, I mean, it was already ob obnoxious to navigate in the past, but now it's like... Like, what the, what the hell is this? Um, but yeah, before we get to Corsair, we have to talk about Patriot. Because Patriot um, has taken a leaf out of the SSD manufacturer booklet, and uh, they're silently changing product specs. So, that's great. Um, so this this is a 4400 Vi Vi Viper Steel kit. Um, this is the exact same part number that I have, except mine are CL19. And here's proof of that. See, that's, this is, like, I have two sets of this kit, um, PVS416G, and mine is PVS416G, uh, 44, uh, 440, 440, C9K, C9K, yep, and I have two boxes of that, and, um, uh, except mine, you know, you know, like, if we, if we go over here, that, that, that very clearly says CL19, um, the Patriot website, uh, says, uh, CL18. Also, also, mine has a TRCD of 19, and a TRP of 19, and a TRAS of 39, which they conveniently don't actually put onto the, onto the packaging, and I didn't really feel like pulling up the SPD profile, so, um, but either way, like, so mine, my, my kit is 19, 19, 19, historically this kit has been 19, 19, 19, and recently, Patriot has just kind of decided, well, you know what, binning for TRCD-19, uh, very expensive, very difficult, so we're just going to bin to TRCD-22, and we're also going to lower the cast latency for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why they felt the need to do that. But uh, either way, like, this doesn't change the fact that this is almost certainly still Samsung v but this is, like, bad. Like, you shouldn't be changing product specs without changing the product number as far as I'm concerned. Um, and this isn't the first time I've seen Patriot do of it, it do this, except this is like the first time I have very clear proof of it, because I literally have like the old version of this kit with the old spec of this kit um, compared to what they have on the website right now. But in the like, I have a friend who bought a, I believe it was a thirty-seven thirty-three CL seventeen kit from Patriot, which he expected to come in seventeen nineteen, which at the time would have been Samsung V die, and instead it showed up in seventeen twenty-one, and it was Samsung, uh, it was Hynix CJR. So he was thrilled about that, um, because that's exactly what you want. You want to get Hynix CJR when looking for Samsung V die kits. Um. So yeah, this this right here, this is this is awful, um, and uh, I guess I'm gonna stop recommending Patriot going forward. Like, yeah, their their B die kits are incredibly cheap, but uh, you can get G skill a lot of the time for a similar price, and G skill doesn't randomly change like silently change their their specs on a part number. Instead, G skill just kind of makes a bajillion different part numbers. Honestly, you know, in a way you could argue that what G-Skill has going on with just a million different SKUs of basically every single memory kit is a little bit excessive, but at least, you know, at least they don't go and silently change the specs of the memory kit, which just isn't good at all. So, yeah, this, this right here, this is uh, very, very disappointing. And then we get to Corsair's website, which, um... Not necessarily as bad as what Patriot is doing, because Corsair has just kind of deleted most of the specifications on their website. I mean, why would you want to know what TRCD and TRP your memory kit is going to come with when you could just have the cast latency? Um, so here we have three kits. Actually, four, but I haven't found a, a listing for this one at Scan yet. But, so we're going to take a look at these three kits. So we have uh, this Vengeance, Pro, uh, Vengeance RGB Pro SL uh, 3600 CL16. Then we have this uh, Vengeance RGB Pro uh, 3600 CL16, and this Vengeance RGB RT 3600 CL16. And these are all actually very different. So here is the RGB Pro uh, in 3600 CL16. 
And this is 1619 1936. So this is likely to be Hynix CJR, a variety of different Micron ICs, and potentially Samsung B die as well. Uh, then we have this 3600 CL16 uh, RGB Pro SL kit, which is 1618 1836. Which, uh, for the sake crucial, that would actually still be a Micron bin, but with most uh, non Micron owned manufacturers. Uh, this is actually a Samsung B-Die bin because TRCD18 is a bit difficult to get working on Micron memory chips, and so uh, consequently most manufacturers just use Samsung B-Die for a TRCD18 at 3600. So this is very likely to be Samsung B-Die, and then we have the RGBRT kit, which is 3600 1620. Um, pro this is like... I, I don't even know why we need a spec this loose, because my understanding, like, this is maybe Hynix DJR, um, but even, like, DJR should even do 19, so I, I really don't get why we now have a 16, 20, 20, 38 bin, um, that is super weird, but yeah, so Hynix DJR is likely to end up in this, uh, CJR, uh, various Micron memory chips would do this as well, like... And the obvious issue is, is like if you go to the Corsair website, it might look like all of these are actually the same spec, except they're freaking not, because the TRCD is completely different, but Corsair can't be bothered to tell you that. So instead you have to go to a retailer's listing for these kits and hope that they include the correct TRCD, because I've regularly run into, uh, you know, retailers actually having like incorrect specs for sp certain memory kits. So then you'd want to go to the manufacturer's website to make sure that that part number actually has the timings that the retailer says it has. Um, and then you'd find out, sometimes you'd find out, no, it doesn't. Um, except with Corsair, that's going to be impossible now because Corsair doesn't actually list the whole timings, do they? Um, and when I'm saying whole timings, we, we're li really just talking about the primaries, we're not talking about the sub-timings, and occasionally there can be issues even with those, but th as far as I'm concerned in the DRAM manuf- like, as far as DRAM vendors go, asking for, like, secondary timings and tertiaries is definitely asking too much, because they can't be bothered even to tell you how many memory ranks a memory kit has, uh, with the exception of HyperX. So HyperX does tell you how many ranks their memory kits have, Unfortunately, HyperX also only uses really terrible memory chips, so that doesn't really help you. <laughs> or more like, the best memory chip HyperX uses is Hynix DJR, which is uh, not great. So, you know, that's not really... Not really exactly... Like, it's great that they provide extra information. That information just allows you to more easily decide not to purchase their stuff. Um... Unless, of course, you can find their behind... Like, DJR, DJR makes sense if you can get it cheap. If you're paying as much as you'd be paying for Samsung b die, you should just get Samsung b die because b die is faster. Um, but, um, yeah. Anyway, so that's, that's basically it. It's just like, uh, Patriot is just straight up silently changing specifications for their memory kits, and Corsair has managed to make their website horrible. Absolutely horrible. For comparison, you know, this is what it's supposed to look like. Like, G-Skill over here, they just have the full timing spec. And G-Skill also puts the entire timing spec on the actual labels of their memory sticks, but I don't have a picture of that. Um, which, actually, Corsair does that as well, but, you know, it's not like they, they show the labels on the website. Um, and then you have, like, 1616. And so, like, this right here is Samsung b -Di, this right here is Hynix CJR. And this is why you need to know what TRCD the kit comes with, because it allows you to tell which memory chips it has. But, you know, just, just spec cast latency. Um, and also this gets even more important if you're looking at like 16 gig dims instead of 8 gig dims. Uh, because if you're looking at 16 gig dims, um, well, yeah, I, I don't even know why I clicked on the specs page. Like, it doesn't freaking tell us anything, because of course it doesn't tell us anything. So, let's hope Scan has this. Um, let's search it up. Oh, Scan does have that. So, okay, so it's 16, 20, 20. So, the thing is, um, with 16 gig dims like this, um, they can be in single rank, and they can be dual rank. So this could be single rank microns, it could be single rank uh, Hynix, maybe? Uh, it can be dual rank Samsung B-Die, which it almost certainly isn't because that TRCD is terrible, but uh, it could also be uh, dual rank CJR, dual rank DJR, and uh, dual rank Micron Rev-E. 
uh, potentially some newer memory chips as well from my Micron. So, um, you know, like, and so with a kit like this, um, not knowing the TRCD makes it impossible to tell how many ranks it has, and hopefully for comparison I can find an actual B-Die kit. Though with Corsair it's probably, well, no, they might have a 1618 um, dual rank B-Die kit. Because Corsair, for whatever reason, really doesn't bend their B-Die to, like, super... Like, where G-Skill has just every timing combination you can think of, Corsair has, like, what, one or two sets of timings that they use for B-Die. Um, so, like, no, that's 4,000, isn't it? Well, okay, so that has to be B-Die at that point. Because um, of the speed it's at. But uh, I was hoping to find a 1618. I found a 1416... We have a, wait, they have a 1616 bin. Oh, that's for 4,000. Um, no, for 3,600. Do they seriously only make 3,600 in 18 and 14? Well, I guess that makes it easier for, <laughs> for figuring out what... Okay, they have a 1619 bin um, of this. So, again, that can be just basically any memory chip under the sun. And, of course, the website won't tell you what exactly the, the timings are anyway. Because why would you want to know that? Actually, that's a terrible idea. Can I do that? Okay, nope, that doesn't work. Um. Oh, so that kit just doesn't exist. Lovely. Okay, so I can't find a 1618. Though, I could swear that they used to make those. Um, I'm sure if I dug around on eBay long enough, I'd find something that matches what I was hoping to find, but... Oh well, uh, doesn't matter. Yeah, so that's, that's like... So that, that's it for this video, is basically, um... Corsair, your website sucks. I mean, it sucked before, and it's just gotten worse. Um, and Patria, uh, don't do this. Like, just freaking don't do that. Um, because, yeah. Um... And so, so that's it. That's it for the video. So, guys, thanks for watching. Um, like, share, subscribe, leave any comments, questions, suggestions down in the comment section below. If you'd like to support what I do here with actually hardcore overclocking, I have a Patreon. There's a link to that down in the description below. There's also the HOC Teespring store where you can pick up shirts, stickers, posters, you know, the usual uh, YouTuber merch. And uh, both Patreon and Teespring help out immensely with running the channel, so it'd be much appreciated if you'd check them out. And uh, yeah, that's it for the video. So thanks for watching and goodbye.